Good afternoon. It's Friday, March 4th, 2011. I'm Jill Sealand and welcome to Erner Berry's Market Report sponsored by Moark Eggs. Make sure you stay tuned today for an inside look at this week's price trends and movers for the food service industry from Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, as well as the third installment in our series of videos where we break down a beef hindquarter with Wolfgang the German Butcher. In today's video, we break the beef round subprimal cuts into items that are sold in his meat case. Today, though, first and foremost, let's check out the market. Looking at poultry in the chicken market, the week is winding down, and by the look of things, the complex is in strong hands. Availability on most listed lines has tightened significantly, with buyers reaching out for additional needs. Tenders have led the recent charge, with offerings failing to satisfy all requests. Trim, chunk, and cutlets are also held with varying degrees of confidence. Wogs and whole birds are full, steady to firm. Dark meat is well supported. Talking turkey, the majority of our listed lines are considerably limited. Confirmed trades of wings are reported at premiums as of this morning. The remainder of the parts complex can be rated full, steady to full, steady. Whole birds are well maintained for spot as well as future commitments. Whole breasts are very tight, MST inquiries are abundant, breast, trim and thigh meat are all very well supported as spot availability is next to nothing. In the egg market, retail demand is only fair, supplies of larger sizes are fully adequate for current needs, the market is testing and likely unchanged. Moving over to red meats, taking a look at pork, bids for hogs are expected to come in mostly steady today as marketings appear to be closely in line with the current level of packer demand. Today hams are expected to remain in range, though subtly weaker undertones persist. Demand for boneless ham muscles and hams for export have been lackluster. Conversely, there are still no bellies being openly offered. Sharply higher bids have surfaced and have been passed throughout the course of the week. Interest in fresh trimmings has improved and is becoming price supportive. Spare ribs remain unsettled and expected to trade in ranges. Now, let's revisit Wolfgang and continue our German Butcher series. Last week, he broke the subprimal cuts from the full beef round. Today, we take you back to the action where we learn how those cuts become items that are sold in his meat case. Now, we're working right now on mostly the roast. And then certainly, once we trim the fat out, a lot of this, this is the fat is used for chopped meat. And we want to keep the, the chopped meat nice and lean, at least 80% lean, 20% fat. But in most cases, a lot of our ground meat here is leaner than that. It's over 90% lean. This is a finished cut now. That's the eye one. This is the beef knuckle. And um, there's many different things we can do here. Uh, this first cuts can be used as London broils. Okay. We, it's also a great roast beef. You, we break it down a little different as a roast beef. We split it. We'll break that down. And all of these these cuts here can be used in strips for pepper steaks, beef cubes, London strip oils, slice on slices for minute steaks, beef or laden. Again, we would probably, if it's not a London broil, we make a roast, we tie it up. If it's a London broil, we cut it into proper thickness. Years ago, I would just go down to 14th Street and buy all hanging beef. We, we're just doing the round here. There's many different cuts from the, we're not gonna touch on the, on the prime rib or, the, or the, the, the four quarter. That's what we call kosher. You get all the kosher cuts, because everything hind quarter is not kosher. It has to be from the fore quarter. We like to age the meat somewhere around up to 28 days. There's places that age it much longer, but I don't want to say that. I, I mean, generally, if you, if you um, age it up to 28 to 30 days, that gives you a good age. And the enzymes break the meat down and the, the, meat, the muscle tissue relax. It adds flavor and tenderness to it. Wet aging, wet aging means it's a, aged in the vacuum pack. Obviously, this is hanging beef and it cannot be vacuum packed that way. So uh, this would be dry aged. It's hanging in a cool box under certain conditions and um, it just sits there and, you know, in a proper environment and it ages. 
and would that enhance this to me? As we started off from the round, what would, did we get here? We, let's start off with the round pieces, which constitute the, the bottom round, the rump, your eye round, your beef knuckle, your top round, And then we got these um, nice London boils. Knuckle. Make sure you check back with us next week when Wolfgang, along with his son Andrew, butcher the second half of the hindquarter, the loin. Now let's check in with James Serpico as he takes a look at this week's price trends and movers for the food service industry from Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide. Prime top load is uh, up over 29%. Uh, the main reason behind this sharp gain in value can be attributed to seasonal demand. Top loads coming into the spring market typically post large upswings in value. Uh, pork leg advanced as well at a value of about 5%. Lamb legs trended higher as most sellers seem reluctant, reluctant to sell at steady price levels. The strength in that market can be attributed to a combination of record high prices on carcasses, and an increase in demand given the upcoming Easter holiday. Moving in the downward direction were chicken wings, which have been hindered by lackluster demand all winter, though more recently these items have rebounded a bit and can be considered uh, balanced. The shell egg market continues to decline this week. Producers are, however, becoming resistant to additional declines given high feed costs and the approaching Easter holiday. Increased feature activity is scheduled for the next several weeks. Thanks, James, and from all of us here at Ernerberry, thank you for viewing. Don't forget to check back with us next week for our next report. That wraps up Ernerberry's food service report and market report brought to you today by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services, providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866 Six seven five seven eggs.